All right, here we go with black. First card up is Blitz Leech. It's <laughs> five and a black for a five two with flash. When ATB's target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus two until end of turn, remove all counters from that creature. This is such a weird card. Um, it's so expensive. I think it's good. Oh, really? I think it's good. So, how favorably or unfavorably does it compare to Catablethus, do you think? It's interesting. I think unfavorably. Yeah, I think so too, but it has more utility. Like, Flash matters, especially in blue-black, right? If we're looking at that, and there's like, or not even just blue-black, but like the, the cards that care about Flash that are, mm -hmm. are not just blue-black. Neck 2, Neck 2, like, always is worse than Bleep, because Bleep obviously had a higher ceiling. Mm -hmm. Removing all the counters, that that could that's, matter. It's got some amount like, of relevance. Ability. Yeah, I think this card's good. Um, Maybe maybe this is just because we're coming off of Theros, where Catabethus was a great common. But I think this card... Hmm. <laughs> it's so hard, because remember when we went to, uh, to Theros, and I remember this, like, pretty clearly, but when we did this, we did this every for Theros, and, like, I said there was like three worlds where Catabolipus could exist. Where it was like you wanted to play one as like your grindy thing that you bought back with your raised deads. Uh, a world where like it was just unplayable, and then like a world where you wanted to play like three of them. And we mm -hmm. said that was like the, the least com the least uh, likely world, and it ended up being the, the world we lived likely. in. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's really tricky, right? Because this could easily be the world with Bl Blitz Leech, where it's just like you don't want this card. <laughs> it's just you know, um, it's powerful. It does cool stuff. I'm going to start this as a C. I could very easily see it moving up or down, though. I'm going to start at C minus. I, I don't think I don't think Flash makes this better than Bleep. It makes it different, right? Right. Like You're like, ah, uh, pass with six mana. Your opponent's... And in this step, that could be anything, right? It could be anything. It could even be a Blitz League. Yeah, it could even be a mode. <laughs> All right. So next one here is uh, Blood Curdle. This is three and a black for instant. And here it is. Destroy target creature. Put a menace counter on a creature you control. Can I just say it's such a weird design choice that this isn't double black in this set with a bunch of fixing. It's, like, four, it's four mana, instant speed, single pipped. This is just going to be the first pack pick. It, we're going to have Theros all over again, right? Where This is just going to be the first pick out of any pack it's in, almost, like, unless the rare or uncommons are busted. I'm t I, I, I am... I am starting off with my hard stance that Surveyor is a better pack on pick one than this. That's interesting. So, but... Uh, that's really interesting though. I, I like I don't disagree with that. And normally I would be on board with that, but I just think with with the common fixing and like just all the fixing in the set in general, I think you're gonna be playing this card more often than not, right? If you first pick pick, pick one pack one. Yeah, it, it depends how good the the it depends how much better this feels than the rest of the common removal. Yeah, for sure. Like if this feels like way better, like if I'm I'm keep making comparisons to Dominaria because like you know, Eviscerate was great, but, like, so was, like, Blessed Light was good, and so yeah. was Vor Voracious Hunger or whatever. Yeah, like, for sure, for sure. So, but if this feels like this is the thing, then I, I could agree with that. Right, and, and worth noting that in Theros, like, both of the common black removal spells that we loved, like Final Death and Grasp, were the best at what they did. It was the best cheap removal spell and the best catch-all. And this isn't, like, either of those, necessarily. It's, it's a good catch-all, but it's maybe not, like, so much better than the next best thing, right? So I agree with that. Still a B, right? B, B, B plus? Yeah, yeah. It, might, it, might, I, I, it could be a B plus, yeah. Yeah, I think I think B is a good place to start. Boot Nipper. <laughs> one in the black for a 2-1 beast. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, it comes in with your choice of a death touch counter or a lifelink counter. Some folk will never nip a boot. Then again, some folk will. So, <laughs> and then there's uh, this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, like, it's gonna be, I think it's going to be 2-1 two, two, death touch uh most of the time, black yeah. is looking pretty controlling from what I've seen from the mm -hmm. con. So like, just like a nice early uh, defensive creature is pretty good. And it's um, gonna have that ability to mutate on too. Of course, yeah, can't discount. But you're that. never mutating, sorry. We're but never you're mutating. never mutating. I think this is a solid C. Solid C, agreed. For how much we disagree in text, we or like it with our <laughs> words, we don't disagree with our grades very often. But I think that's I think that's great, right? I think that's yeah. like I think that shows how much like. How, how much space there is within a grade right and how much like the yes. cards can really just be you know represented in different game states yeah okay so we have uh this this name meat? this oh, name sure. though yeah i know right yeah this card name. <laughs> oh. it's not, not safe for work okay. it's, yeah right up there with death corona right <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is three and a black four mana for a two four it has uh one tap sacrifice another creature 
you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Draw a card. This card's really cool. This so here's my feeling about this card. I love everything about this card, except the set that it's in. Mm. It just we're talking yeah, talking just about like that. you know we we were talking a lot about cards in the context of mutate. Yeah, this card's not good. You don't you don't a sack outlet does not pair well when you are reducing <laughs> your board state. Yes, that own. is true. I will say in context, there's a lot of like smaller creatures in black, like kind of like this. This is kind of like the, the grave stuff where there's like there's that we'll get to it, of course. But like I will say, like skipping ahead a bit, there's like some good things to sacrifice, just like some like little small value creatures. So like I think yeah, it's not going to play well with mutate, but like it's a powerful card. And yeah, it's a, it's, it's a human like black white humans. Yeah, can yeah. Go oh, wide yeah. And, and, so, and utilize this. Sure, um, like you know in in Theros we had the whole like you know Soul Reaper of Mogus was good in the black white like decks because you can sack it like their human tokens uh mm-hmm. they made off like omen of the sun like it has that kind of effect so yeah yeah i like, think i still think it's good but i yeah. just think it's like again I'm, I'm just trying to think about it in the context of mutate which i think is going to be a big part of the set yeah so, so maybe this is like a black white gold card maybe it's black white gold card i'm gonna yeah. start it off as a c I think actually, you know what? I think it's like a black white or black green because i think it's it's good in both those kind of decks so yeah mm-hmm. we'll start with c i can see it going higher though um cavern whisperer is up next is four and a black for a four four uh it has menace and you can mutate for three and a black and when it mutates each opponent discards a card hmm yeah this one's this one's interesting um so you got cards with a value menace is well yeah Yeah, it's sort of eh. it's hard to call your opponent chooses a card they discard as a four cards with value. value yeah for sure um well, i mean it, it kind of can get kind of crazy though if you do like multiple times right this is uh i mean i don't want to make a disinformation campaign comparison but it kind of has a little bit of that feel where it's just like it, if you're doing the set mechanic thing over and over it, it is like it, it you know you have to compare it to like mind rot some corset <laughs> yeah i think this seems fillerish to me I'm, yeah i think you know, this is a c minus i think it's c minus i thought it was a, i thought it was an uncommon at first that, that would make it a little bit better um but yeah okay I, i'm i'm i like it at c i think just like being mutate being four mana four four minutes then like you know other stuff maybe, okay maybe it's not gonna make her deck a lot of the time but c c minus here, here's yeah. here i gotta i gotta press you a little bit here sure yeah go ahead you're giving this a c yeah and you're giving the dream tail heron <laughs> a c plus this yes. looks like this draft worse. chaff to me compared to Dream Tail Heron. I think this is worse. I don't think it's like so much markedly worse. Okay. <laughs> I just don't understand how that's yeah, possible. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is Dirkwood Boars. You're giving Dirkwood Boars. You <laughs> don't a C. like that card. <laughs> I, I yeah. I'm just. I just don't. I feel like we're we're a little off here. Our uh, our, uh, our scale is a little I off. Think, I think the scales have been tipped a little bit. All right, let me call this. Let me call this a C minus, and I'll, I'll give the hair in a C plus. How about okay, that? that? That feels okay. good. I feel good. Okay, about that. Good. okay. <laughs> so now we have we have another reprint here with corpse turn. We have uh, one in a black for an instant. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, and you may return a creature card from your grave to your hand. So, yeah, I mean it's like anticipate ish um, with the with the whole like there is graveyard stuff in this set. Filler. I don't think this is going to be any more than filler. Yeah, I don't anticipate. I hope to not play this card. Yeah, I mean, there might be some sweet, you know, if you get all the black green uncommons and like rares or something like that, maybe this this card goes up in value. But yeah, in, in your normal black decks, it's not gonna be that great. Yeah, um, it's like a D. Yeah, I I start with a D. Yeah. All right, Dark Bargain is back. Dark Bargain, black. just all the Dom throwbacks here. Yeah. Dark Bargain is three and a black for an instant. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two into your hand. The other into your graveyard, and it deals two damage to you. Okay, this was a good card in Dom. I mean, card advantage was King and Dom over Tempo, which mattered. I mean, Tempo was big too in Dom, so I, I can't really say that. But you know, the card selection was big. Card selection here might not be as important because the delta between your good cards and your bad cards might not be as large. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's this is like a solid card. Yeah, uh, you you have the first copy of C. Yeah, it's the first copy of C. Abram says in chat, if you mutate the, the yeah, yeah, Cameron's Cameron's Brother, Brother, yeah. it's disinformation campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, what's what's up next here? Yeah, we have we have Deadweight. This is a nice reprint. So one mm-hmm. mana, enchanted creature, enchanted creature gets neg two, neg two. 
this i don't know how to evaluate this card in this set i know right i think it's still gonna be great i do too um, maybe it's not gonna be as great as it was in you know say guilds or originally in the strad because it's still Adams. it still feels good to be like all right you, you know shrinking your mutate yeah. pile feels good Turn i guess it feels no, no, no. I was gonna say it feels bad if they mute you on top, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. What are, like, what's it? Just says the biggest yep. thing, and then it's a smaller version of that bigger thing. Yep, it's super cheap. I like it. So, so B minus. I'm willing to start B. Just so efficient, and like it kills off two drops, and it's like you said, it shrinks things. I, I think we can start B. Okay. Uh, durable coil bug is one in a black <laughs> for a two-two, and you can pay four in a black to return it from your graveyard to your hand. What a name. What a name. So this one's Durgal City. Um it it is kind of engine-y. If you if you have that graveyard stuff going on, you can sack it for things. It's like sanitarium skeleton a bit, but yeah. much worse. I think um, I think this is like C minus C minus D plus material. It's not, it's not synergy. Well, I mean like it's synergy in the fact that like I don't really want a random bear in my deck generally unless I'm doing something with the ability, but maybe I do. Maybe maybe that's fine. It's just like a very, very slow way to not have your mutate stuff be card disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean I I can't I can't it, like overlook. you know if you're if you're self milling you randomly can draw this, but like it doesn't really matter because it's a then it's a seven mana two two. Yeah, I, I can't you know, you, we can't overlook the floor on this card. Just you know, two mana two two. It's a C it's a C minus. C minus, I like it. All right, what <laughs> Gloom, Gloom Pangolian. So this is three mana, one five, a lot of flavor text. Uh, yeah. You're I, into this? I am not into this. Okay, you're not into this. Um, are you into this? No, I'm not into this. But I, I again, like, I, I think it might just be like one of those like this has a place because it's a one five for three that blocks the early uh, aggression from possible huge mutate things like. Over, you know, the, the design choice they've had for these vanilla creatures over the past two years is they, they've said, these are in the set for a reason. We don't just want, here's what blue can do at vanilla anymore. Most of the times, it's like, this card is in the set for a reason. Either it's like boosting a four powers matter theme, or it blocks it at an important point of the curve, or it's enchantment creature kind of thing, right? So, like, I'm looking at this card being like, okay, why is this card in this set? But this is an odd stat line, especially in this color, right? We don't see this very often. Mm -hmm. um well so here's the like five toughness seems to be i haven't looked at the red removal yeah is there a d is there like a deal four i think it's deal three and uh yeah i'm not sure i don't remember but so like this you know can't it doesn't get got by divine favor yeah so this like, it, it could just be that raw toughness is what you want to mutate onto totally yeah and i i think i think that um you know, again, I think I think black is looking controlling. So like, it's uh, this this is a card that like plays into that if if that's what you're looking to do. So mm -hmm. I'm not we're not gonna give it a high grade, of course, but just like pointing out earmarking that it might have a place. Yes, sir, I'm gonna go D plus. Yeah, I like that. Lurking dead eyes, three and a black for a four two with flash, and when it ETBs, you destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Hmm, this is cool. Yeah. Um. So we yeah, we so so what was it the Fathom fleets. Cutthroat Adam Fleet, Cutthroat. I think this is better than that card. Right, by... didn't have flat. That didn't have flash. This yeah, by a lot. Give me this opponent's turn. Yeah, giving this card flash is, is a lot better. Right. So you can not only can you use this on your own turn post combat, but you can also you can flash this in and just have it as a four two blocker, or you can flash it in an end of turn to finish off a creature that you've blocked. You can block with your uh, Pangolian and flash this in, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I like this card. I like C. It's still it's like filler. It's, well, it's a good filler. Yeah. All right, next up we have Memory Leaf. Two to black, sorcery, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from that player's graveyard or hand. Exile it. I love this card. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do too. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I do too. Um, this is good, right? Like, yeah. this is quite good. This mitigates. Now, it will depend, I think, slightly on how much of a, like, board presence people this format is yes because the and, more the more it's that the worse this card gets yeah and and you know there's not like maybe maybe it's really important to disrupt the the mutate uh lines of play like that that might be a contributing factor here and like the 
you know, in war, this was a good effect because for two reasons. You, the body was really relevant. It made sure you didn't just, like, take a chunk of damage um, and it could be built on. And, you know, the, the top, whatever, 20 cards were so much better than the rest of the cards in war. Mm -hmm. That mattered. Um, I, this, card, this card is worse than Total Invasion, for sure. But it's it makes up for a lot of that in the cycling. I, I like C- minus starting this. Great sideboard card, but C- minus starting. That's fair. I kind of want to give it a C, actually. Yeah, I was going to say that. I was thinking you'd talk me down on it, so I'm all for it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for C. Uh, Mutual Destruction is a single black for sorcery. It has flash as long as you control a permanent with flash. As an additional cost to cast it, sack a creature, destroy it, target creature. Holy cow. Instant bone splinters. If, but conditionally. If, conditionally instant condi bone splinters. But that's crazy. That's pretty nice. Like, adding instant to bone splinter is upgraded a lot, right? Like, a, a big amount. Yeah. Because you can do it in response to, uh, you know, it's like final flurry, but, but cheaper. So, I mean, uh, again, like, if we're looking through these black commons, there looks to be, like, kind of, like, stuff you can sacrifice for value and stuff. I mean, not maybe not so many sacrifice for value things, but, like, uh, like expendable bodies, right? Um, so I think you're going to want the first one of this. And yeah, like if you are a deck with like five flash creatures, like that makes it so much better. I like C on this. Yeah, again, I'm just just throwing it out that in in, in the mutate land, like sacking your own creature is somewhat of a yikes. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for um, sure. Um, I'll, I'll give you that. But so so this may end up being more of a black white black green card. Um, I mean, but that's a nice thing though. Like think about if we're incentivized to only really draft those color pairs, right? Like. We're not incentivized that much to draft green, red, and uh, you mean bl green. Yeah, black, red, and black, blue. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm I'm in for C for the first copy. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have Night Squad Commander next. Two in a black. We're a two three. When Night Squad Commander when Night Squad Commando enters the battlefield, if you attack this turn, create a one one human soldier with nothing. <laughs> so this is this is the same card as from Cons, but it's, mm -hmm. it's black, Haz, right? Haz the Marshall, or, no, not in the Haz the Marshall, but uh, uh yeah, the, the it's, yeah, same so attack, you yeah. get a moment token. This is a good card. This is very good. I I'm going to put this as C+. Yeah. Uh, like I'm going to it makes two humans in the black white human deck. Right. I feel like it's it's a C+ plus in the black white deck. But even but even the other black decks, like we we were just looking at like things that you can that you want to sack or like little incidental Creatures that you sacrifice for drawing a card. Like I think this is like glue for both both right. black black green deck and uh, black white deck. I don't. I yeah. I also don't know besides the two removal spells what black commons are good. So yeah, I'll, I'll, make, I'll give that a C plus. Uh, Serrated scorpion, single black for a one two. When it dies, deal two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Boo. Uh, what is this card supposed to do? Nice this is out. like for. This is just a good. Like I do think that derpy ones and to an extent some derpy twos but derpy ones are if you if you can get a heavy mutate deck i do think this is going to be good yeah uh, my my own like my thing is if if you do get a have like like you'll just want egg and i think not that many people are going to want egg if you're the heavy mutate deck i don't know like i yeah, don't know I, I could see egg be like i, I do think it depends how many people at the table I can support. But yeah, I think egg exactly. is going to be the cream of the crop, but it's going to go earlier than these because it's colorless. Yeah, yeah, this is inter that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, we we could. I, I don't think talking about this card for too much longer really does anything because we have no idea sure. like where it's it, it fits. I think it's like a D. I mean, if you if you want, we could talk about it for like ten more minutes. I'm totally cool with that. I know you. I, I feel like everybody else would not be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so uh, yeah, D. Let's, let's, let's leave it at D and This next it. card is terrifying. Yeah, Suffocating Fumes. So this is three in a black, instant. Creatures uh, two, two, two in a black. Oh, sorry, two in a black for an instant. Creatures of your opponent's control get negative one, negative one until end of turn, cycling two. Again, this is just another, like, crazy in some good some situations, and then you can cycle it away when it's bad kind of card. This card existing makes me never want to draft go wide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? So It's uh... at, it's at common. And it has cycling, so there's no reason to not play it in your main deck. I think and this is just a good combat trick. Like, imagine right, right. Blocks. It's just a trick. Like, it's not even like all creatures get minus one, minus one. It's just like, and we had we had what it was in, in uh it was in Kaldish we had make obsolete, and that was uncommon. That was very good. Yeah, and this one has just made that card obsolete. Funny yeah. enough, but like, yeah, I, I mean, being a common 
strikes me as like them saying like okay it's actually not busted but maybe it's maybe it's a tool that they wanted to come in to make the go by stuff not busted as well i don't know yeah let's uh i, I it's, it's i'm less like the the existence of this card i'm not like oh crap this is a b but yeah. i am more just like oh crap an entire strategy seems invalidated <laughs> Like I basically ne like if I'm ever playing white X go wide and my opponent plays a swamp, I'm just like, well, well, yeah, I lose. Hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we were, if we were to put a grade on it, C. Can I go C plus? I want to see. I was gonna say I kind of want to go C plus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Uh, Unexpected Fangs is one in the black for an instant. You put a plus plus one counter and a lifelink counter on target creature. <laughs> It's cute. Uh, I think this, in the world of better tricks and cycling tricks, this doesn't seem good. Yeah. I think this is probably like a D. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. And then similar to this next one, Unlikely Aid, which is one in a black for an instant. Target Druid gets plus two plus O and gains indestructible in another turn. Yeah. I think so, yeah, it's the same, same, same problem. Thing. Yeah. I mean, this is better than Fangs, probably. Because it, yeah. sa it saves the creature. A lifeline trick is pretty pretty good though. Like if if yeah. I don't know, it it depends on what you want to do with it. it they're gonna. I, I don't think either of these cards are particularly good, but we'll see. Uh, and then we got Whisper Squad, single black for a one 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 in a black. Search your library for a card named Whisper Squad. Put it on the yeah. battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. Oh no, it's a human. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this would be so good if it wasn't a human. Ugh. This is this is a weird card. I'm out on this card. Um, as am I. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't want to be straight out, right? Like, it's it's cool. What if you have four of these? How good is it if you have four of them? Still that, not that it's good. Bad. Right? Like, this, like, it's so much. Like, it, so here's what why it would in the scenarios it would be good if it said for any number of copies. Yeah. But I guess that would be two busted and... No, you can only have four. Whatever. And constructed. Yeah. But... So either if you could search all the copies or if it was not a human. Or if it was like... Yeah, I mean... The problem with like being like, well, what if you had five? Is like, well, if you have five, then you're like drawing one. You're drawing two of these. Exactly. That's the problem. That's always the problem with these cards, right? Especially with no way to put them back or anything. Like, that's 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 the major problem. So... I am I'm I'm going D minus on this card. Yeah, I'm kind of out on this one too. Okay. God, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say D because I think there's there's a spot for them. Like where you have a bunch of like sacrifice stuff and like this is good fodder. But I think yeah. This uh, black commons are not good. Yeah, I was thinking that actually. Like we went through a lot of them. We're like oof, oof. Like aside from the removal spells, it's blood curdle, dead weight, and then like maybe your boy Blitzleech, maybe <laughs> maybe yeah. Night Squad Commando. Yeah, I think Night Squad Camille is probably the third best one, if, if in my in my books, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, not not super. It's weird. Like, what? Why does Black get these like medium combat tricks without cycling? And, I don't know. Yeah, so weird. All right, first uncommon here is Bastion of Remembrance, two and a black for an enchantment. When it ETBs, you make a one-one. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. I think this card's quite good. Right. So. Yeah, so it's a it's a blood artist. It's a blood artist that they can't kill, which yeah. is a big a big downside of a blood artist. Right, like it just gets pinged off a lot of the time. Um, yeah, it's for three mana, of course, right? Like, of course, like that goes without saying, I think. But mm -hmm. you're you're not playing blood artist to be a good creature on curve, right? Like you're playing it for the effect. Um, this is even better a lot of times when you're playing it like off curve. Um, but all right, so it's not blood artist. It's Zulaport Cutthroat. Okay. Yeah, Zulaport Cutthroat. Exactly. Good. That 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 is an important distinction. Yeah. Um, I think this card is pretty darn good. I think this is like a, a B. Wow. Yeah. Like especially because like think of all like the value sacrifice stuff we just saw in black white with tokens. Yeah, maybe maybe there's maybe there's a cool black sack deck, and then maybe the bushmeat poacher is is better <laughs> than I'm giving it credit for. Yeah, I think that I think that card's actually might be might be more of an important piece of the puzzle than than we thought. I'm gonna maybe maybe I'll go up to C plus on the poacher. Okay. Um, all right. So you want to give this a B? I like a more like B or B minus. I, I don't think I'm gonna I'm going... go. I'm going C plus. All right, sure. <laughs> we forgotten Revenge of. Ra I don't think this is quite the like 
wacky black enchantment. This I think... is not Revenge of Ravens. Not even. I don't think this is close to Revenge of Ravens. All right, and then uh, we have Call of the Death Dweller. This is two and a black sorcery. You turn up to two target cre- creature cards with total converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a death touch counter on them on either of them. Then put a menace counter on either of them. Kind of uh, cool. I think this is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't. Th- I don't think this is like too situational, too niche. I think you're gonna have like we've seen a lot of cheap creatures. Um, yeah. I think I like this card. It's it's just like it trades with anything. I think I want to make sure you've got some self mill. Yeah, or that, or, that, or, or, or I mean, we've, we've actually we've actually seen a lot of cool like just like one drop things that like aren't great cards, but like bring back a one de- uh, like a one drop, giving a death touch, and then giving and a getting back your two drop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. that's pretty good. That's but pretty. I, good. I think I think that this this is going to be like uh, not so much a build around, but like you're like oh I my deck kind of wants this card, right? Mm-hmm. I think that that's something you could do. Mm-hmm. I think I think I want to give this like a synergy C. Yeah, I, I I think I like that. Just like a good little bit of value that you can put in some out of your decks. Yeah. Chittering Harvester is up next. It's a Freak Spawn 2.0. Five and a black for a four six. It's mutate for four and a black. When it mutates, each opponent sacks a creature. So, real talk, how close do you think this is to Freak Spawn? Because I don't think it's all that far off. I have no idea. But, like, <laughs> again, I'm just like... I mean, I... I I feel like I'm I'm maybe swinging too far. So when we did our uh, uh, Theros Beyond Death review, I was like, I was like, how often are we escaping? Once, yeah, for one, sure. Once maybe, and it turned out that we were escaping a lot, and it was very relevant, and it was like what a lot of games were based around. Now I don't know if that's going to be the case for Mutate, but I'm going in thinking that it is. It's like the head. It feels like it's the headliner mechanic. And I think it seems like there's a lot of pieces to put together. Mutate gets better in the context of, or uh, uh, sacrificing gets better in the context of mutate because your opponent is actively reducing their board if they're mutating. So this could be severely backbreaking. And it's like one of the hallmarks of Fruit Spawn was that, like, obviously, you know, Fruit Spawn was was a menace to deal with because if you killed it, it just came back. Yeah. Like, this is repeatable, right? This is that, like, all right, sack again, sack again, sack again, right? And and that that is going all in, but I think maybe what we're going to find is there's going to be mutate cards that are worth going all in for and ones mm-hmm. that aren't worth going all in for. I think this is one of the ones that is more... This feels worth, worth it. it. Yeah, this feels worth it to me. Um, And it's tempo positive, right? I mean, maybe not tempo positive. Five mana is a lot. Um, But it affects the board, which is big. It's not just drawing a card. So I, I kind of want to give this, like, a B. I give it a B. Yeah, I think so. We, we could be, like, totally off, and this is just, like, not what you want to be doing. It's too expensive, whatever. But I, I think B is, 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 I think this card's going to be good. I think yeah, it's going to be good. I agree. All right. So next up we have Duskfang Mentor. So it's two and a black for a 1-3. When Duskfang Mentor enters the battlefield, put a lifelink counter on target non-human creature you control. And then it has two mana, tap, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control with lifelink. Why is the white one a 1-4 one and the rest are 1-3s? <laughs> Vigilance, I guess, makes you want to have a bigger... But it plays all with your enchantment, that's why. That's right, that's right. So, like, like pumping on lifelink is quite good. Like, that, that is better than pumping on vigilance, generally. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about, you know, it's comparable to the the flying one. Um, I... Hmm, it, it, like, it, it's so tough, though. Like, these are... These ones are... I still have a hard time evaluating. Um, what, what do you like for this one? I think I'm still on C+, plus here. Yeah, I think just like a fine bit of value, it, it can get like a card having the potential to run away with the game is powerful, right? Well, so, I, so why does this run away with the game more than the flying one does? Uh, that's like no, no, no. I, I don't think it's it's more or less than the flying one. Oh, okay. I just think like that's just like I would say that for the flying one too, and like that's why we gave it a C plus, not like a C, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, easy prey. Is one in a black for an instant destroy target creature with converted mana cost two or less, and it has cycling two. Seems fine. Well, it's okay. Like, uh, mm, I don't think it's gonna be a high pick, but it's uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right? I agree. I think this is two. Two is two so is low. low, right? Yeah, two two is very. I think this is like narrow. a C C minus. Yeah, it's gonna feel yep. bad when you get gotten. Like, it, it, you know, it's why? Kind of... Why does it feel bad when you get got by? You're just 
<laughs> like, it's, hit... it's removal. It's just one for one removal. Well, it's it's one for one removal that your opponent, you know, you, you likely don't have that many targets in your deck for, right? Like, I mean, on two, on turn two, right? That's like a, a good exchange of mana for your opponent. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think it's like a C minus. Yeah, it's like a C minus. Grim Dancer, on the other hand. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, baby. This one's this one's a nice one. So, one black black for a three three. Grim Dancer enters the battlefield with your choice of two different counters on it among Menace, Death Touch, and Life Link. Yeah, yeah, this card's great. This card's very good. So aside from, you know, forget about any synergies in the set. This card would be great in any set. Yes. Right? It's just like baseline, very, very good card. Mm -hmm. Life Link, Menace, Death Touch, Menace, like all great. Like all these, all these abilities also play nicely with each other, right? right. Like giving your menace or death touch is great menace your... death touch that's like unblockable yeah it's so good right now add on top of that the context of uh mutate add on top of that the context of keywords mattering right like i think just like how flexible how good this card is on rate uh, i think this is like a b plus b plus huh maybe just b maybe maybe i'm going a little bit too high but like i don't know uh, all right, I'm a, you're marking me down for B+. And I'm also revoking your mouse-clicking privileges. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Next up is Heartless Act, which is one and a black for an instant. Choose one, destroy target creature with no counters on it, or remove up to three counters from target creature. Yeah, so this is the one This is the one that um, we're... we're it's, it's an interesting conversation between, like, you know, do you take the first Blood Curdle, or do you take the first Heartless Act? How many counters are there going to be? Like, in Dominaria, with... with uh, cast down i think it was yeah mm -hmm. like if my memory serves it was worse than the two common it was, black removal spells yeah it was worse than eviscerate and worse than vicious offering mm -hmm. right so we might live in that world where this is worse than the common removal spells just because it there's so many things with counters on it yeah uh, i think you're gonna want one uh, for sure just to diversify your your removal suite um and you know it's nice that it has some added benefits of just like taking off some counters that, that might be relevant too. Yeah, you can respond to this by putting a counter on something to counter it. Yeah, the, yeah, the, like blood curl in response is yeah. disgusting, right? Um, I think this is, you know, going to be a, a B, B minus maybe. I can, see B, I can see B minus on this. I'm going to go B minus. I think this, yeah. is, this is at least worse than whatever, the, the, the black, the, the common blood curl. I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so... Right. so we have insatiable hemophage this is four mana four three three uh mutate two and a black death touch when this creature mutates each opponent loses x life and you gain x life or x is the number of times this creature has mutated so this is one of the ones that really incentivizes you to go all in on your mutate because like remaining for one or two is not that great but i don't think the payoff is really there you mm -hmm. know it's like kind of weird yeah i don't know yeah, I mean, I like if you can, card. if you, yeah, it's just tough. Like if you can mutate for the second time onto something, and then mutate onto this, then you've drained for five. That's good. But like, if you've mutated that many times with anything, it should it's be good. good. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's I, exactly. I don't think it's better than any other mutate. Like you know, maybe it's better than some of the commons, like putting counters on it or whatever. But. I'm not into this card. I think it's fine. Like three mana, three three, four mana, three three death touch is okay, but it's not. It's not a high pick or anything. I think it's like a C. Yeah, it's like a C. It's, it's yeah, very very medium. Unbreakable bond, four and a black for a sorcery. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a lifelink counter on it. I feel. I mean, I haven't done any of the stats checks or whatever. I do feel like Duskfang Mentor is might be kind of absurd as a build around. I don't know how many things have lifelink, but it feels like enough. It is, it is possible. <laughs> like just even putting two counters on it with this, on stuff with this activation. That's good. I don't know. Yeah, that's really anyway. good. Uh, I like this more than I generally like these effects, but I don't. I don't like five mana zombify. Yeah, me neither. Um, like giving a lifelink is is a pretty big game. On like especially on a flyer. Like reanimating a flyer with this is really good. Well, right? they, again, this just plays well with those exp like with void beckoner. Get back. Cycle this on three. Yes. Ex yeah. Exactly. Get back an eight-eight exactly. lifelink. That's that's yeah. I think I think there are some spots where it's quite good. Um, yeah. I don't know. See. 
Yeah, C sounds fine. Yeah, I think I think it might it might it's probably worse than a C, but you think so? Yeah. Okay, it fair probably enough. is, but we'll see. All right, here is Void back in there. Eight mana, six black, black. Death touch, eight, eight. Cycling, two and a black. Discard this card, draw a card. That's what cycling does. When you cycle Void Beckoner, put a Death Touch counter on target creature you control. I, I like this card a lot. Yeah, I do too. Um, I I was wondering like before we saw the full set, like how much ramping we were going to do. I, I don't think it's very much like we're not turboing this out or anything. But like when you have eight lands, like this is like oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, like it's going to happen a percentage of games, and then like. Yeah being it's 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 blade brand which you know more expensive blade brand which you know blade brand's good it's less good at three we've seen unbreakable bond and we've seen the black green uncommon that returns a creature from the uh graveyard to the battlefield yeah like this is a like i think this is going to get like there's gonna i think there's gonna be times when like you you attack your two three into their two three and they block and you just get to get them I, I don't know. I think this is very good. I'm not. I'm not excited about this as an eight mana eight eight death touch. I'm excited about it for the cycling text. Well, I mean, you're excited about it for Blade Brand, then like, like or you're excited for for like the, the counter. Well, but it's also not, it's not Blade Brand, right? It gives it. Yeah, the, the, the counter sticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, what do you want? To, I don't think I'm going higher than a C. You think you're going C plus in this? I'm going C plus. Okay. I'm like, not, uh, I might go into. I don't know. I'll go C plus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. We've got Zagoth Mamba. It's a single black for a 1-1. One, one. Nightmare Snake. Whenever this creature mutates, target creature and opponent controls, it gets minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. Yeah, I mean, this seems like... It's going to be dependent on how good... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Deadweight is in this format. Like, if, if that night 2 matters. But, like, this is your, like, premier black mutate target. This is great. Yeah, I, th I think this is great. very, very good. It is like if you're only thinking about it in the context of like a minus two, minus two being like the the thing. And it's not. It's not a shock, right? It's it, minus it's two, minus two is not a shock. It's not yeah. a shock, and it's worse than dead weight because dead weight's gonna shrink their mutate thing for good. For good, yeah. But this is like the thing. I think this is yeah. a very high pick. This is like a B, right? This is a B. Okay, cool. I also want to say about Void Beckoner, like, there's, like, I think I think a lot of times, like, people are like, oh, that's such an 8-8. That's not good. But, like, it kind of is, because that means it can't get, like, gang blocked and, you know, eat, only eat, want two things, right? Yeah. Uh, like, they, they gang block with six things and all their things die. Right? So that, that matters some of the time, too. Right. So maybe, maybe we have to give it a synergy grade. It is a 1-1 one, one for one. I just, like, I just don't feel like you have to give synergy grades to things that care <laughs> about, like, care about mutate. You have to put yeah, it's just yeah, exactly. You don't have to put a synergy grade on the set's main mechanic. Or just, like one of the set's main mechanic, yeah, right? It's in every yeah. color. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Dirge bat. Here we go. Two black black huh. for a three three with flash and flying. It has mutate for four black black. Whenever it mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. This is the best rare on the set, I think. Yeah, this seems nuts. It has flash? <laughs> like flash flying. Three three, it's a, it's a six mana removal spell, but then you can keep mutating onto it. Yeah, man, like this is an A, right? It's this. this I don't think it's much yeah, conversation. Absolute, absolute A. Can you flash mutate? Of course you can. Yeah, it's just it's just casting it. But yeah, it's flexible. You can cast it on three. Actually, really nice sequence, right? Opponent, you know, they they go to you pass the turn on turn four. They play their four drop. You flash this in and then mutate, right? Like, they don't see that coming. It, if you had to tap out for this, it'd be like, all right. I'll oh, yeah, you flash it in as a four mana, three, three, and then mutate onto it? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be like, all right, hope, cross my fingers, hope this survives on turn four. Like, you just cast it, and then and then you knock off their biggest thing. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah, that's that's A. All right, so we have Extinction Event. This is three and a black for a sorcery. Choose auto or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value. This is good. Yeah, I think so. It's not it's not like busted or anything, but it's good. Um It's gonna be awkward sometimes, but I like this more than Do you like this more or less than if this literally just said destroy all creatures? Uh I like it less than that. Mm, yeah, I think so too, but I think it's still pretty powerful. Especially because you can just like engineer it to be like, alright, kill off your mutate creature. That's yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, this card's good. This card's good. This is I, like 
plus. It's, it's, yeah, B. I'd give it like B, B plus. I, I think it, it's powerful. It's yeah. you can engineer it pretty easily. Hunted Nightmare is one black black for a four five with menace. Wow. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's so it's cool. a, little, a throwback to those hunted. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the, the hunted creatures. Yeah, the hunted cycle from uh, Ravnica, right? Yeah. Uh, it's powerful. Yeah, this is, it's it's a good card. I think like if if they're double blocking with their death touch creature, it's not guaranteed you're going to be able to two for one them, but they're going to want to. And you can just you know the whole thing of like yeah, I just leave this back as the four or five blocker. Yeah. Right. I think the, I think the the play patterns of this is, are going to be beneficial to like how this card is worded. So I think it's all B. I'd say all B. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last back black card here. We've got Mythos of Nethroi. So this is two and a black for an instant. Destroy target non-land permanent if it's a creature. Or if green white was spent to cast this card. Or, oh sorry. Destroy target non-land permanent if it's a creature. Or if green white was spent to cast this spell. So weirdly worded. Basically it says if you just cast black. It's a destroy target creature. creature. And if it's all three. If it's Obzon you can destroy a non-land permanent. Good. Yeah, it's murder. It's easier to cast murder with upside. So B plus. B plus. Let's lay out. Let's, let's do that. All, All right. right. Cool. That's black. 